what it is, what it do. It's your favorite people from that favorite place, Space City Cloud. You, you, might, you might not be able to find it on the map yet, but we're always around you, baby, and we're always here for you. So if you don't know, it's your favorite person in the middle, your favorite person, I'm talking about ever, no matter what no one else will ever no say, what. whatever they say, trump that. So whatever they say plus that, Draven. To my left. To your left, how you guys doing? It's your boy Matt, <laughs> a.k.a. Mr. Wednesday, and a.k.a. Mr. Sunday for some of y'all who don't know, a.k.a. your boy. A.K.A. Mr. Holiday. A.K.A. Florida Boy for some of y'all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> A.K.A. Your favorite clouder. I had to put that in there. I don't know if I said that. I'll say it again. It's your favorite clouder. And then I'm going to pass it on to my right. All right. I'm, I'm Trey. <laughs> no A.K.A.s, though. Just Trey. Just Trey. And no wave. That's gone. Yeah, no way. People didn't like it. Yeah, we got the poll back. They didn't like it? No, they're like, what's up with that we wave? They click the poll and they're like, hey, hey. Just Trey? Yeah, just, just Trey. Trey. I like Trey. Trey, Trey Wade. Trey Wade. Trey Wade. <laughs> Are you even doing what he's doing right yeah. now? <laughs> it's catchy, man. Get money. Yeah. Uh, anyways, guys, you know what it is. Welcome back to this show. It's a whole bunch of talking, a whole bunch of chilling. You know what we're going to do around here. Oh, if you my. don't know, uh, please like, subscribe, hit all that stuff that YouTube people tell you to do because we need that support as well. And, uh, oh, and one last thing before we segue to our first section. Uh, I know you're calling yourself Mr. Wednesday, but Jocelyn doesn't always put these videos up on Wednesdays. Okay, and uh, let's go ahead and get to that next section. Segway. This topic is going to be movies. Mm-hmm. Right at the back. Yeah. Movies. That's going to be our first one. And um, let's go ahead and talk about Ant-Man, guys. Yeah, let's talk you about it. You know, Ant-Man. we like to talk about our Marvel movies here. Something that, you know, a lot of people talk about, obviously, it's a very popular franchise, obviously. Come on, guys. So, let's talk about M2. Um, let me just say this. I loved it. Let's loved just start it. off with that. I, I loved it. Did anybody else love it? Anybody loved like it. it? I liked it. I liked, liked it. it a lot. I liked it. I liked it a lot. I didn't. I, I wouldn't say I loved it oh, like man. I come did come with... Here comes what? Nothing. Just go ahead. I didn't say that. You were about to say something. I was going to say that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I was saying, it was I a good movie. That. I was like, yeah, I like it. I, mean, I, I didn't it. hear that. I really like it. Mm, I heard that. So what, 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 what? So is there something you disliked about the movie? What was it? Go ahead. Lay it out there. You, you I, I just didn't like it. Matt I, I, didn't, I didn't think the first one was, I didn't think the second one was better than the first one. Uh, did you think it was worse than the first one? I think it was slightly below it. I, I, I so you're saying the okay for you the first, first one, one did better, better or yeah, was better than the second one. one? Yeah, slightly better than the second one. Yeah. It's a Can slightly. you say what you? So are you saying on a fraction? I mean, they were scale? both good. I mean, you know, on, on, a fra- on a fraction scale, you're saying? Yeah, on a fraction, a fraction. Sliding scale. scale or something like that. I liked it. I really liked it. I thought. I mean, it was still good. Yeah. You know, well, it carried over from the first <clears throat> and gave me a lot more to dig into the Ant Man part of the universe. Yeah, it made me feel like the Guardians of the Galaxy too. how yeah. I didn't feel like it was um, better than the first one, but I didn't think it was worse. I felt like it was just like a, a nice continuation. Like, that's what I like about the Marvel movies when they have part twos and stuff like that. And I think it's like, uh, well, you know, that's why I think they give them different title names and then straight up Ant-Man part two. It was Ant-Man and the Wasp this time because it was like a nice continuation. So, I don't think it really lost anything and I think they added some stuff to it. So, I thought it was wonderful. Like, you, you know, the first one was great, but it didn't have the loss in it. Yeah. And I love the loss. And she was in this one. She was all over this one. And I was yeah. like, dude, she's kicking everybody's butt. Yeah. I, I can't complain I about can't that. can't complain about that. Yeah. So, you know, all in all, I, I did like it. Michelle Pfeiffer? Michelle, Michelle Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer. Woo. Woo. That's She'll my favorite it. Catwoman, y'all. She'll get that Michelle. Every time I see her, I'm going to take my hand out. Black Lana Salt. Heck yeah. She's the best cat of the year. <laughs> yeah, her treat yourself. She but overall, it was it was a good. Hey, can I just say this really quick though before we lose time because you know we have a short time. Yeah, here. yeah, yeah. Um, I'm I'm pretty sure they stressed that time works different in this um uh, microverse. The quantum realm. Yeah, the yeah. quantum realm. But when she came out, she was old. She well, was old. they were saying that mm-hmm. she wasn't deep enough in the quantum world Ooh. not to be affected by time. Ooh, she looked pretty deep. She looked deep. Yeah, she was oh, deep. Super deep. She was deep. 
Remember, when there's like a place where she's Ten toes deep. Ten toes deep. You can't escape it. It was a big deal. She died. That sounds pretty deep, deep. to me. Right? She's she like an intangible deep. ghost. Just from Yeah. Me. She was deep enough to that's all I had. That's the only thing I had to complain about. So, yeah, she evolved. Yeah, so. so she was deep enough to evolve. So. But that's, yeah, that's, that's a theory. Yeah. That's the theory that because she's older. Wait, 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 wait. So that was a theory that like people online are saying or was that expressed in the movie? In the movie, they really yeah. didn't touch it. Okay, so in the movie they just kind of said, "Oh, time passed differently for her," and they didn't really get into detail. <laughs> they didn't say why, how she aged, or uh, yada yada. Yeah, they gave one explanation. They said, yada yada yada. They said she was in there. Okay. Yeah. Well, other than that, I loved it. Oh well, I love his relationship with his daughter. Yeah. I thought that was that great. Was really good. I loved the progression. I even didn't mind the T.I. was in there again. Hey, yeah. this homeboy is actually add mean? another layer uh, to the he movie. He was good though. in the first one. Yeah, he was. He just got, man, he, you know, he's a, He's learning his thing, you know? Not, no, well, you know, yeah. <laughs> you, you, you play that character good. What? He had four lines. How are you going to mess it up? Exactly. How are you going to mess up? He got four more four extra lines. lines. I'm just saying, it's like, like, those four lines are... Un, every time I see him, like, I can have him or not have him. That's what I'm saying. It wasn't bad okay. acting. It so was you're just, saying, you can have Ant-Man with or without T.I. Yeah, with or without T.I. Nah, you got to have T.I. If you have, if you have... Let me just say you this. That, if you gotta have those three side characters, Scott. No, uh, no. You at least you gotta, have, you gotta have, uh, have three. at least one. You, you got, gotta, you gotta, gotta have, have, I forgot his name. Luis, I think yeah. it was. You at least gotta have Luis. What is his name, Luis? Pena? Yeah, Michael My, Pena. Michael Pena? Yeah. yeah, well, you gotta have his character and then the those side stories, characters. Bro, those stories, bro, those stories. T.I. and then T.I. Yeah. works so well because it's true he story. always saying some off the wall, big ass words as he does in real life, which is funny to me. But. You gotta have T.I. in there. He's part of the trio. He's part of the trio. It's not a trio without T.I. T.I.O. Well, maybe I don't need a trio. <laughs> well, they need a trio. I thought Ghost was cool as a villain because it was like she really wasn't a villain. Yeah, she has but... some big old eyebrows though. <laughs> Did she? I don't know. Yeah, it was something up. It was something going on there like, that I noticed too. I was just like, I don't know if her forehead is lighter than the rest of her face or her eyebrows or something. I don't know. But she was, she did good. Yeah, I, she I was beautiful. It. I'm not saying she was beautiful. I just feel like she got eyebrows like me, like these big old calipers. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and um, wrap that up for movies. This was more of a chill episode. There's not too much going on in our lives. Graphics into the next spot. Dilly, 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 dilly. Dilly, dilly, dilly. <laughs> Graphics just popped off. You know what it means. Next topic, we're going to jump right off the gym. Hit you with that wrestling. You know what it is. We're in the South, so we say wrestling. Shout out to everybody out there in the wrestling universe. Oh, Throw it yeah. up if you're in the club. One sleep if you're, if you're not. Um, upside down if you're in the firing squad. Uh, yeah. But it's all full life. <laughs> <laughs> full, 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 full life. life. All right. Dude, uh, classic. There you go. Um, <laughs> part of the topic. Hey, let's start with Hogan. Hey, guys, Hogan's back. He's back. Back in the WWE, guys. After a controversial, uh, c- controversial stint in the uh, no-no zone for <laughs> racial <laughs> comments that was recorded while he was Dude, making no. love. He was um, set up by a chica. Doesn't mean chica. the words are right, but he was a set up. And that's how uh, most guys go down these days. So be on your P's and Q's. Cameras are everywhere, and the Chicas are coming for your monies. That is um, <laughs> I know some people are iffy. They're on they're on the fence about him coming back and him being reinstated in the Hall of Fame. But like um, I I always say, everyone makes mistakes, and if he's willing to fix it, he's already apologized. He's on that route of fixing it. I can't really justify um, hating the man because I'm I'm always positive vibes over here. And I'm really not about hating on people in the first place. So I could see if he just went out, was like very malicious about it, and yeah. was like continually doing um, this and that, and like not really showing any remorse about it. But he has showed remorse about it. I know some people are gonna feel different about it. You can't really please everybody. So you, all you can all you can really do is say sorry and move along. And I hope he really sticks with what he's saying. And and uh, that's how I feel about Hogan, man. Yeah, I mean he Straight really up. has no ill will. I mean. I mean, I can't really speak for what's really going on in his brain, but just from what I, I mean, see, as in, so yeah, can't, so as in, from what we hurt. see, 
he hasn't really shown a history of it, so, you yeah. know. How do you feel about it? I, I, I want him back. <laughs> I want him back. Big fuck you to Hogan? <laughs> no, it wasn't, a, it wasn't that. It was We're going to get you, Nick. <laughs> Straight Booker T on? I'm just thinking, like, Probably. No, nothing brings down a powerful white man than the N-word. Racism. Getting, getting caught. I love the racism, bro. Like, well, Papa John's did, these did days, Papa for John's sure. Is like oh, yeah. Well, people, yeah. well, people, people ain't taking that shit in the mall. You know what I mean? I mean well, they're like yeah. in certain ways. It's like that's what I'm saying. It's so weird because how can it depends? It's always on a voice. It always depends. Or like that, they always catch you. Look, in like, a voice, like, like a recorded. Yeah, this is a phone conversation or voice. Janet yeah. Reno, bro. Yeah. Recording you, you know what's, without you know your what's permission. funny though Like you know consp- People with conspiracy theories Like I'm always getting Like sucked in on YouTube uh-huh. But um, people are saying Like it's not even Black people that are Catching these people It's other white people Using it Against other white people To get their positions oh, I can see that Take them down I and stuff that. You know what I mean yeah. So like black people Are over there Fighting talking, You know like Yeah yeah And we're doing all this stuff But we're actually helping Some crooked person With a sinister scheme hey. Like Hoggis Greenlee From Captain Planet Or something <laughs> I see that because then you'll see you somebody I mean? else take their spot. Oh, uh, man, that is true. You'll pay for this, Captain Planet. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Planet. Yeah, I, yeah, but that's just conspiracy theories. Uh, uh, besides I that, believe. wrestling, uh, I'm actually having pretty fun. Like, yeah. Extreme Rules was uh, mm. actually, it was, I mean, it wasn't, you know, honestly, I'm going to say, I'm going to keep it 1,000 while. Extreme Rules wasn't as bad as their usual pay per views, but yeah. the crowd really didn't help them. The crowd's already going there expecting for it to be a terrible, a, a terrible show. Or they just, just, like, you know, that's what everyone's doing. It's fun to really chant and that's what I'm rag thinking. on people nowadays. So everyone was just doing it. But that Seth Rollins, Dolph Ziggler match, it actually wasn't that bad, honestly. No, it wasn't. The timer went off a little early because I started early. But uh, that it really wasn't that bad. And I, I, I can understand why they might have missed some cues or messed up when you, you know, whenever you do music, you have notes and counts and stuff like that, and if I hear a bunch of people just counting random numbers, talking about, eh, eh, every five seconds, I'm like, what the heck is going on out there? Right. They're not looking at the clock. You know what I'm saying? Like, the wrestling story. And then, like, the back, they took the clock off just because everyone was being dicks about everything, and it just really Come jacked up a really fans. good show. And uh, okay. I don't know if you saw this, Matt, but your boy Roman Reigns lost. He lost to Bobby Lashley? Yeah. yeah. I got to figure that out. Yeah. Yeah. Bobby Lashley, that's a cold dude right there. That's a cold dude. Huh? <laughs> Dominate. <laughs> Woo, walking on to get him. What's up? That's a cold dude right there. <laughs> yeah, he's getting sweaty though without that head, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, shout outs to Kevin Owens for taking crap again for... Uh, Being that man. for everybody, he could tell a story even if they're not putting him at the top. Off the top Finn of the looked great in that three-way match on Raw. So did uh, my boy. Uh, who was the three-way match against? It was uh, like they were trying to see who was going to be the number one. It was actually a really good Raw because it started off yeah. making you believe that there's actually more people going for the belt instead of just two people like always. It felt like they used to do like in the 90s when they were like anybody can go for the belt. And everybody actually needs wants to, go. to go for the belt. Like, everybody wants to go for the be the top instead of just... I'm just here for the fun of it. Right. You know I'll hang out so on the side. They did a, a three-on-three match with um, my boy uh, Finn. You had uh, Roman Reigns, and then you had freaking Drew McIntyre. That was, man, that was an awesome match. Drew McIntyre is always doing his thing now. And uh, I know ever since he came back from the Indies, he really stepped his game up, winning all his belts, going around and doing the Indies for a while. He really stepped his game up. Finn's always excellent. Roman, it wasn't too bad of a match. It was actually wasn't too bad of a match. I, I should have seen it coming. Roman's going to win. Yeah, it had everybody hyped up for Finn. Like, you know, and McIntyre actually Finn, shined Finn, really Finn, good. Finn, Finn. But of course, we're getting another. But at the end of the day, it was another setup for Bobby and Roman again. We just had this match. I don't know what's going on because of Brock Lesnar or what, but. Hopefully, it uh, comes out to be Bobby and I Brock. I just can't wait for all this to get. We get past this whole Roman Brock thing and this whole UFC crap, so. Oh yeah, um, I guess. Brock, when does oh, Brock, Brock fight in UFC? Uh, Brock is gonna—he's not gonna fight until SummerSlam. He—he—he he, he, he hasn't fought in like forever. He doesn't show up. He, he does whatever he wants, and that just sounds like white privilege. I know Roman is talking about man. Yeah, but no Roman, one had a chance to fight you. You don't fight. You yeah, but every belt. time, but whenever somebody does get a chance, Roman takes up the chance and loses. Yeah, pretty much That's every chance bro. he got, he lost. He Maybe he should throw that oil man. in his hair. He can see himself getting punched. Him, not, I mean, out. damn, let him get a chance. Get suplex over there. A couple chances. I'm just mad. I know. Man. It happens. Anyways, I'm pretty sure the time probably should have went on by now. So, uh, shout out to all the people 
that love wrestling just as much as I love wrestling. Uh, one more, uh, Adam Cole, Bay Bay for the road. Okay. Um, whatever. I guess we're in another topic. I wouldn't know because I don't know if there's graphics or anything. I can't talk about them. Anyways, this shit is about TV. Y'all seen some shit? <laughs> <laughs> yes. We all have, I think. No, yeah. Matt, no. We saw some shit on Netflix. You're talking about Glow. Yeah, Glow. Saw Glow. <laughs> Y'all saw Glow? Saw... We didn't see Glow. I want some awards, whatever. Yeah. Girl oh, Power. Atlanta. I like that shit. Girl Power. Girl Power. Yeah, it was tight. <laughs> Maybe we should talk about something I else. didn't like that they oh. had that many wrestlers from the first season. Like Alex Ry- Riley. Where's Alex Riley at? Oh, yeah. He was a good character. Yeah, that, oh yeah, that relationship went south at the end. My bad. Is that that rolling? Is that that rolling? Rolling? Blade? No, it's a wrestling Roll show Blade? on Netflix. Oh, I keep. You talking about that show? Oh, you talking about the, the Afro? That one got canceled. No. No, you talking about rollerblading, like roller derby? It looks like it's roller derby. Uh, like on the picture, it looks like a roller derby. Maybe they have like costumes on and stuff. Yeah, like, like onesies. Yeah, onesies. yeah, yeah. Wrestling leotards. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. That's yeah what I probably. I never seen. I don't know. They got skates or nothing. It looked like they had skates, my phone. Oh. Yeah, he didn't give it a chance. I didn't, I didn't <laughs> give it a chance. You're right. I Check did. it out. I heard nothing it. about it. I heard nothing it about it. It won some awards. It's the first time I actually heard someone singing it. Oh, okay. Well, what it was actually really, really, really good. Huh? What awards did it win? Like, best stupid stuff, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> what's some awards? Do I care? <laughs> I didn't win the awards. Shit, okay. Yeah. It's good. It's I, just know, best I just thought it was like, yeah. oh, well, okay, look. I don't know if they actually won the awards, but I know they're nominated for at least a 7 or 11. Look, awards is coming their way, all right? I hope It's something, that time of the year. Coming their way. Girl Power, the show is great. Uh, you can watch it all the way through. The freaking producer's hilarious. Dude, Bash is hilarious. He's hilarious. He's hilarious, and uh, the director's hilarious. Yeah. Uh, Did you watch Cloak and Dagger, Matt? Nope. Ah, I forgot. Do you know who Cloak and Dagger is? Yeah, I mean, we've been talking about it for like three weeks. Okay, he hasn't seen it yet. Still haven't seen it? Okay. Yeah. Mm. 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 Wait, what'd you think about it? Wait, no, you saw the first episode last week. We've seen all the Cloak and Dagger. I'm all caught up, man. I can't wait for the next one. Yeah. I'll shut up. I guess I got They have, they have, they are doing it, man. Like, they figured out the whole teen genre thing. Somehow they dropped the CW drama and picked up a whole new bag. How many episodes is it? So uh, seven so far. Oh. Yeah. Power's Power back on. I'm sorry to be. Oh, so Power, yeah. Sorry. I don't watch it, but yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that, that's that show. I hear it's a I good had, show. I had to put my two cents in. Go on. Oh. Power's the shit. Oh. If you like Power, oh. you might like Snowfall. I heard that's about drugs. What's no fun? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's on FX. It's like one of those, the start of crack. The start of crack? Yeah. Like in the early 80s? That's what's up. I mean, I don't do crack now. Now it's up like that, but, you know. <laughs> 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 I, don't, I don't do crack. <laughs> well, I don't say I do crack. I don't say, well, you know. That's what's up, you know. You know, before we go, I'm pretty sure the time's um, up on this one. But, uh... This is, I, I, I think I've heard that the Rugrats are getting a live action TV Ooh. show or a movie, a live action movie, a live action movie. Yeah. Like Rugrats, yeah. like are Rugrats they gonna be babies? Live action, but they're coming back with they're coming back with a new cartoon and a live action movie. I'll check that out for sure. So that's what's really going on in the TV world. Bump everything else. Nickelodeon on the Maya's coming one. back with with um, <laughs> Maya's coming back. Yeah. Take you there. I, I want to go, go there. there. <laughs> Take me there. Let's go there. Yeah. Take me to that place. Oh. I know out of all things, wow. right? Well, out of all things. The 90s is hot, and Nickelodeon was no, the biggest man, thing I in the 90s. Not, so. Yeah, but this is just really this is really stretching it. They're really stretching it. When have you not seen them stretch it, dude? They do that. I mean, right. This one's just like, stretching. they might as well make an Alex Mack the movie back. If that's the case. Alex Mack would be cool. Cl- and Clarissa this time, explains it all. Clarissa. Yeah, bring it back. <laughs> For real, girl Glad power. There you go. All one more time. <laughs> Clarissa, please. Tell me again. You got to start having a new look Clarissa, though. Right, or Kablam. Or maybe it would be her daughter or something, and she finds a diary and she starts one. I thought that was Ike Carly for a second. I don't know I thought that was her daughter. <laughs> well, they're girls. They have their own website, and they explain a lot of stuff. <laughs> well, anyways, that's going to be it for the TVs. Go TV. ahead. And uh, just make us change to the next thing.
this is our topic about video games. All right. In the video games world, since you guys showed up after the graphics happened, True. <laughs> it's Evo. I've been talking about it for a while now. It's just getting so damn close for me not to talk about it. Yeah. And since we are talking about Evo, let's talk about Dragon Ball Fighter Z. It's going to be one of the predominant games played there. It's on the main stage for the first time. And around the same time, I believe they're releasing some new characters from DLC. Are they going to be in the tournament? I don't know. Well, base Goku, base Vegeta. Not too many people are happy about it. I, I'm happy yeah. about the spirit bombs. That's all I got to say about that. I mean, it's to be expected. Like. Well, because there's so many goddamn Gokus and Vegeta in the game already. Uh, before this game even came out, they're like, all right, guys, we're going to have a plethora of characters. Now, don't worry. We're not going to be able to do a bunch of mirror characters. 35 mirror, mirror characters later. All right, guys. So next time you get some fresh characters. I mean, you can't believe them when they say they're not going to do that. Hey, you can. Because you're supposed to. When they're asking for money... <laughs> you should be able to believe you. <laughs> you, you, right you I'm giving you my money. You're giving the money. You know what I mean? Yeah, so. but I mean, come on. Dragon Ball Z has Goku and Vegeta all up through there. Well, what can I say? I love Goku and Vegeta anyway. Yeah. Who's going to really complain? Me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want Mr. Satan in there. Dude, Mr. Mr. Satan or Dale, Master Roshi anybody, or... Dude, Bobby D. I'll take anything, man. Give me something to switch up the game. Like some more females in there. There's not a random female. There, I know there's more than just... Yeah, Freaking eighteen in there, dude. Bomber would probably be the best. Right, one. throw some capsules out, do some crazy moves, or even uh, like Trombone. Put Chi Chi. Chi Chi, old like like Trombone with the technology and stuff. Trombone, that's not in Dragon Ball. Well, I know it's not in Dragon Ball. I was just saying how she has the suits and the robots, and it's like oh, Bulma okay. can do that too. I was like, why would, why would we throw Trombone? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in like, here now. All right, I got technology. But yeah, Chi Chi, she was <laughs> she was in the tournament. Yeah. She did some things. Yeah, you know, and Gohan's girl, you know what I mean? Pan, Pan, put Pan in there. Pan, Pan would be a good addition. Yeah. Anyways, uh, that's how I feel about that. We are going to be at Evo. I'm going to try to bring some shirts out there, guys. That, uh, maybe we'll have some Evo sales or something. And You never know what's going to go on out there. It's going to be our first time going. I'm not expecting to fucking take over the world, but I do want to make some content and have, have fun with you guys out there. I want to really get out there in the community. I haven't been out in the gaming community in a while, and I'm... I'm ready to come Excited back, to guys. meet some you people. Know? You know, sometimes growing up is hard, guys, and you don't have time for games like you used to with your boys, but yeah. I'm back, baby. <laughs> your boy is back. And I'm not, I'm not going to be the champion right off the bat, but I'm coming for for something. Honestly, I'm really looking forward to trying to get my hands on that Soul Calibur. I'm a big Dude, Soul Calibur player, that's and, crazy. I, and I heard it's going to be there. I don't care if I... Out and, uh, yeah, I want to Push the there. people down again. <laughs> Give me no. a hand. Well, they're, they're supposed to have a tournament. I know it's going to be on free play, but I want to get myself in a tournament. So if you're anybody's watching this, if you can somehow... I don't know if it's a uh, closed sign-ups or if you have to know somebody in the industry. I live in Houston, Texas, so you know the industry is far from us. Don't be dicks. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to being in Vegas. It's gonna be my first time in Vegas too. Dude, Vegas is gonna be crazy. You know, bring it out. You're really not gonna want to sleep, bro. We're gonna see our friend. We got some p- people out there. I'm looking to see. Looking Vegas crew, to... shout out. They didn't hear that. Let's go. Uh, um, <laughs> we got some friends out there. I'm looking forward to maybe catching up on, seeing what's up on the buffet. I am a plus size figured person. Boy, buffet. So you know, I'm looking forward to some crabs. Mm. You know what I mean? And. All the buffets. You know what it is. So well, all the certain so you see us out there, please say what's up. Maybe we can get you on some footage and uh how at me, baby. Holla holla holla. Holla holla holla. holla. So uh, please shoot the graphics up if you let me say it. <laughs> it's your boy Draven and we're doing the on the radar. So this week's on the radar for me will have to be Tiavana. What? You said, man, why does that name sound so familiar? Because you've heard of it before. It used to be all in North America, Puerto Rico, South America, and whatnot. But in 2012, Starbucks actually purchased Tiavana and decided to close all the stores by 2018. So now, um, Starbucks tea division is basically Tiavana. So if you've had their wonderful teas, you would know they have uh, fresh herbs and Natural teas, freshly pressed, and you have all different kinds. You got your sweet teas and your unsweet teas. But thanks to Starbucks, I can get them at your local gas station, Target, Target, whatever you want to call it, right? So uh, right off the back, I got um, <clears throat> one of my favorites right here. 
Uh, they got some that's actually sweet, non-sweetened. The sweet ones are even not too sweet. I know this is the South. I'm from the South. People like their sweet teas, but it's lightly sweetened, and the flavors are magnificent. We got this beautiful, uh, let me just read this off the top. Peach green tea flavored with natural flavors. Natural. <laughs> with Thai lemongrass and mint. Certified already in it. Give me that next one. Mango <laughs> Do I even need to read it? Next one. <laughs> Pineapple. Look, they got a website. I ain't here for all that. It's delicious. I need you to try it. It's on the radar this week. Tiavana. If you like teas and you're tired of drinking sodas and you want something very refreshing for the summertime and you need a stylish bottle to look cool in your Instagram and make your photos look tight, get those extra likes, Starbucks, Tiavana. Let me uh, move my fingers from the actual name. To Yvonne, baby. Welcome back. It's uh, Mr. Wednesday right here on my on the radar. I got Lil Duval. Now, a lot of people know who Lil Duval is, but he just made a song out maybe about a week ago, maybe a little bit less. Um, it's called Smile. It's positive. I love it. It's positive energy. That's all I need. It's positive energy. It's called Smile. Lil Duval. That's all I need. It's on my radar. It's been on my radar for a week. Hopefully be on your radar. The best thing you can do is wake up on the right side of the bed and just smile. That's it. That's my thing. It's easy. It's on your radar now. Lil Duval with Snoop Dogg. Smile. Download it. Listen to it. Wake up tomorrow morning with Smile. I'm done. That's all I need. What's up, y'all? This is Trey with On The Radar, and today on my radar, I'm going with Third Planet. I think that it's one of the oldest comic book stores here in Houston, and it has a plethora of everything. I'm talking about we got old school comics, first appearances, models, anime, from Dragon Ball to Gundam Wing models. You can do, you can find pretty much anything you need on a Christmas list, on a hot list, anything that you want to get for somebody that, you know, does the nerdy and gives you joy and pleasure for anybody who's a collector, sorry, that collects collectibles. So that's what's on my radar, and I went there a few days ago, and it just hit me with a lot of nostalgia. It just smells like vintage, and, you know, when you get that that old comic book smell, for me, it takes me back, so... On my radar is Third Planet. You guys should go check it out. It's off of Buffalo Speedway, just past Kirby. That's uh, for anybody here in Houston that knows where that's at. You know where that's at. It's right on the feeder, so you can't miss it. Welcome to this last and final situation, Mr. On the Radar. You know what that means. It's the ending of our show. So I'd like to close our show now. Hi, On the Radar. Uh, hey, like I said, man, I'm all about positive energy. Um, oh, can you tell us? Can you reiterate, reiterate it? I'm hey, I'm all about positive energy, and like my on radar was Lil Duval. Smile, bitch. <laughs> but we're going to keep it clean. We're going to do Smile, oh, okay. Lil Duval. That's a positive song. Um, I love it. I listen to it every day. I've been listening to it every day since I've heard of it. You know, get my roots up, especially before you go to work. Listen to that before you go to work. Get your positive vibes going on. That's all I gotta say. All about positivity. Do you give a fuck how we feel about it? Oh, yeah, yeah. What you <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Jim. I thought it was Jim. My on the radar was the uh, Third Planet comic book shop here in Houston. And I just really thought it was a good place to take fans of comics and family and anybody that's into Look, collecting. On my, my on the radar was T. Vana. You ain't gotta zoom in because I'm pretty sure someone already did. And you can do it with the whatever. Um, Giovanna for me, third planet for him, L- Little Duvall's um, two minutes on about smiling and shit. Two minutes and 30, three minutes uh, who and cares? 35 seconds. <laughs> <Same now. laughs> um, this is how I feel about it. That song, I've heard one second of it and I changed it. Um, your shit, what was your shit? Third planet. Third planet, I've been there. It's old as fuck, yeah, but I yeah. love comic books, so it's awesome. <laughs> uh, Giovanna, my shit's good, I'm gonna let him try it. I already tried it. I don't Fuck! Like it. I don't like it. I'm thirsty, so. Yeah. Which one did you try? 
I tried the. I bought. It may have been the peach one. See, that's what no. you're fucking up. Everyone's this see, because you will like the peach one. I know he'll like the pineapple one. This is the peach one too. Yeah, I know. Oh. Flow, it flows. I got I it. Like. It's a clean taste. But then again, I'm not. I'm not a tea person. It's not a heavy so syrupy or herby taste. But to it. that's why the flagship pineapple one is for everybody. It's for it's for people that don't drink tea. That's why I feel like that. I believe the flagship one will be their pineapple one. It's the most all. It's the most well rounded out of all the flavors. It's very tropical. You get the pineapple notes. You get the hibiscus, and you really feel like you're on a goddamn beach. Um, this one's the peach one. It's very um, heavy, heavy on the mint and yeah. lemongrass type stuff. And I know yeah, a lot of people are not that. heavy on mints and stuff in their tea. They're not trying to be infused. But it's I love all of them, so it's fine for me. It's okay if these guys don't like them. I like it. Refreshing. Because I think you guys should try it. It's on the radar. And his fucking song sucks anyway. It's shit nasty. <laughs> He let this out first and like, the battle. I don't like the I'm just out. joking. I'm just oh. joking. I'm just joking. God, this Third planet. Go there. Nasty. Southwest nasty. Freeway. Yeah. Just past hey, how do So how do y'all feel? How do you feel about Third Planet? You ever heard about Third Planet? Nope. Do you give a fuck about comic shops? I, I don't I'm talking They got a Dr. Like Doom first appearance. Comics. Have you ever bought a comic book? Yeah. <laughs> Which one? A <laughs> lot. <laughs> <laughs> A lot. Yeah, I was like, you didn't say yeah. that. Ah, oh, yeah. so quick, which one? Okay, that's what I thought. Would you ever buy a comic book? Yeah. Do you give a fuck about, well, men have shirts I mean, and shit. They got I shirts, would, they got shirt, toys, yeah. they got yeah. models. I'm not definitely Your girlfriend probably, probably wouldn't like nothing from Lunch kits. She probably just stuff. wear whatever I buy. Yeah. yeah like, sure why, but she wouldn't read none. Yeah, she wouldn't read shit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not saying that she wouldn't read shit, because she doesn't read shit. She wouldn't read shit. I'm just saying she wouldn't read comic books. She's not interested in that shit. In that shit. Um, I am. Very. How do you feel about his song? You heard that song? I heard it. Never heard it before. Sounded like a jam. Uh, oh, from right there? Yeah, that's your first yeah, time that's my it? first time hearing it. So you I was know, like, honestly, no, the reason I... why I changed it is because it's just too fucking happy for me. It's too happy for me. It's like, kind of like that Pharrell song, like Happy. I'm telling really? you guys, I love fucking Star Trek and I love Pharrell. But some songs are just too goddamn too cartoony for me. Just too upbeat. Just too like, Disney. Dun, 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 dun. This dude. That's just me though. You don't like being all the way DMX, positive. bro. You no, I'm all positive. Positive. I'm you don't like being all the way positive. No, I'm positive. I don't need some song to remind me because I already am positive. Well, you do need a song. You don't want to be Mickey positive. Mouse about it. Yeah. It's not Mickey Mouse. I don't want to share candy with people and hold hands and stuff while I'm listening to my music. That's that's happy. That's not smile, bitch. That sounds like smile <laughs> to me. That's, that's how. Oh, that's what happened Mr. Happy. Positive? You sound so grumpy. No, that's happy right you now. You just hear something. Cue like, the music. I'm supposed to be smiling. <laughs> there ain't no reason to be mad. Just smile. I'm not mad. Just go about your day. Just smile. That's all it is. <laughs> yeah, anyway, that was on the radar. Jocelyn really fucked us up today, guys. She really made me cranky. Sorry. I was joking. I need a nap. And a burger. <laughs> I need a nap. And a burger. <laughs> that was it for us today. Uh, Space City Cloud, you know what it is. Like, subscribe, hit all the buttons and stuff. Shout out to Finn, Ballard Club, um, Undisputed Era, and f- 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 see y'all next time. Yeah, yeah. Your favorite Clouder. Have a I'm your favorite night. person. You're me. Nah. I'm just going to go no, in there and do it. Me. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> Leave some comments. Like us. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell. Tell your friends. Pass it along. Let them know. Like, from now on, Cloud is life. Freedom to drink, yeah. guys.